Երկու շաբթի մայիս 27-ին Օնտերիոյի խորհրդարանի մեջ նշվեցավ երկրորդ հայկական ժառանգության ամիսը ներկայությամբ Օնտերիոյի խորհրդարանի անդամ Արիս Բաբիկյանին եւ այլ Օնտերիոյի խորհրդարանի անդամներու եւ բաշտոնադարներու։ Ծեզի գներկայացնենք մասեր սույն նախաձեռն ուտենեն։ I am so proud uh, to be a member of the Armenian community and uh, have the privilege of serving in this house. It was my great honor to be here to serve for the second term. Now I would like to invite a man who is a good friend of mine. If it wasn't for him, I will not have been able to succeed in my political career and contribute to my own writing of a Scarborough Agent Court and to the multicultural community and to my own community, the Armenian community. It was due to his confidence, support in me that we were able to pass this bill declaring May as Armenian Heritage Month. Also, we were able to secure 256 bed, long-term care bed for the Armenian community, which was a historic one. And also we were able to secure $3 million to renovate the youth center in Toronto. Without further ado, I would like to invite the Premier of Ontario, the Honorable Doug Ford, to deliver his remarks. I always say we have over 110 nationalities in Ontario, 200 languages being spoken, and uh, that's why this is the greatest jurisdiction anywhere in the entire world to live, raise a family, work for a company, start a company. And speaking about companies, there's, there's a lot of great economic development coming out of the Armenian community here, and uh, they're true entrepreneurs creating jobs, and that's what we love here. We love people that are out there hiring uh, folks within the community and outside the community. And I always call our caucus a League of Nations because if you look around uh, our, our caucus, we have every demographics, every color, creed, race you can possibly think of. But uh, the gentleman beside me, Eris, uh, you've been a, a true champion and you've advocated and advocated as every, as my colleagues are shaking their, their head, absolutely. And I just wanna thank everyone. And if I could ever help you with anything at all, by all means, uh, feel free to give me a call directly on my cell phone. Aris has it, and uh, he can give it out to anyone in this room. If we could help you with your family, with your friends, with a business, any issue at all, we'll be there to, to support you. Folks, thank you so much. God bless each and every one of you. And I'm very, very grateful for your, your support. And we'll never forget it. We'll do whatever it takes. I'll break down a brick wall for the Armenian community. So thank you and God bless you. Armenia, a land with a history that stretches back to the 9th century BC, is renowned for its cultural richness, intellectual heritage, and resilient people. As one of the oldest nations in the world, 
Armenia has made significant contributions to civilization. Armenia is also notable for being the first nation to adopt Christianity as its state religion in 301 AD, a decision that has deeply influenced its culture and traditions. The architectural marvels from the ancient monasteries of Gerard and Datev to the stunning churches of Echmiadzin reflect a deep spiritual and artistic legacy that continues to inspire us all. In reflecting upon the remarkable journey of the Armenian community, we must also recognize the achievements of individuals who have made significant contributions to Canadian society. Notable Armenian Canadians include Yusuf Karsh, uh, who's done portraits for people like Winston Churchill and Albert Einstein, filmmaker Atom Megoyan, who has garnered international acclaim and brought attention to the human condition and the Armenian experience through his thought-provoking films. As we move forward, let us continue to build bridges. Let us ensure that the legacy of the Armenian people is not only remembered, but celebrated. The lessons learned from the past, the strength drawn from overcoming adversity, and the shared values of family, faith, and perseverance will continue to guide us toward a brighter future. Armenian Heritage Month is more than a celebration. It is a reaffirmation of our commitment to diversity, resilience, and mutual respect. Let us honor the past, celebrate the present, and look forward to a future where the Armenian heritage continues to thrive and enrich our shared Canadian culture. Thank you. This anniversary stands as a symbol of freedom, democracy, and self-determination for the Armenian people. And I know here in Ontario, the Armenian community has really contributed in so many invaluable ways. Uh, I want to wish you all a happy Armenian Independence Day and express my sincere gratitude once again to the Armenian community here today for sharing your culture with us and for all that you do to make Ontario an inclusive and welcoming place for all. Thank you. The board members of St. Catherine's Armenian Community met with me to share the deep history of the Armenian community and to advocate for its past highlighting the deep roots that exist within the Niagara region. You know, St. Catherine's is a home to the oldest continuous surviving Armenian community in all of Canada, dating back to the early 1890s. You know, the first Armenian church in Canada was established on Carlton Street in 1930. This is a story I know that is shared straight across Ontario, and you reflect in each and every one of your communities. Every single interaction that I've had the honour of having with the Armenian community has been characterised by smooth execution and the most wonderful hospitality. And so. As we contemplate Armenian Heritage Month, I reflect on all of these things and say thank you for your most wonderful contributions to our province, to our country, and for me personally, to our riding in Don Valley East. Happy Armenian Heritage Month. The most important events that I attend each and every year is the Armenian Community Center of Cambridge's commemoration of the Armenian Genocide. I find so much strength and inspiration in the resiliency of the Armenian people. And so I'm just honored that Armenian cultural and heritage is such an important part of the fabric of the province that we all love. Thank you. Thank you.